Hello, my name's Scott Perry. I'm a professional magician, and this is a magic review. It's a kind of magic. In today's review, we're looking at Card Launch or Card Launcher by Artem Ideas. The TLDR on this is for what it is, it's very expensive. It does what it promises, and it does what it promises to do really well. Um, so if, if you're looking for this kind of thing, uh, this this does it. It's just a very expensive way of doing it. And there are a few flaws and a few issues um, that you might come across. I'll come into those later in the review, but uh, the TLDR is if you have 65 pounds and you're looking for a product that launches a single card in the air, this will do it. That's the TLDR. Let's get into a few more details. What is it? Uh, it's a device that uh, you place a card into and it flicks it out basically. Um, so that's what it is, it's, it's this contraption here. And uh, yeah, it's, it's a mechanical device. Uh, as you can see, there's a, there's a pink rubber band here. Um, but overall, that's like simply what it is. It's a device that you put somewhere and then at some point it will flick a card into the air uh, at varying uh, heights as well. Uh, which we'll come on to later as well, the customization of it. But that's simply what it is. It's a device that allows you to launch a card into the air. What do you get with it? Well, you get this device, and then you also receive a few other things. You receive um, some rubber bands. You receive some tiny, tiny, tiny little screws, and you receive this extra piece, which I will explain uh, shortly. So that's, uh, in a nutshell, what you receive when you're going to buy card launch. You also receive a link uh, on this piece of paper to a download or an instruction video. Uh, I would say it's pretty useless. It's about six minutes long. It, it, like for me to open this was all self-explanatory. So. Uh, I think the the six minute instruction video, although it might help some people, it doesn't really explain some of the things that I would have liked explaining. So I think the instructional video is is not good for this, but it does show you how to use the device. It is a bare minimum effort for the instructions. How easy is it? Very easy. Uh, you you literally have a trigger here, uh, a switch that you you move back and forward to release the card. Uh, the screws that arrive with it and this extra piece basically go on here to make a lever. So you can also tap it from the side and it will release the card that way. Uh, so you have a few different options. The I say a few, a few means three. I've just given you two. So the third option is you tie a piece of thread onto here and then you have a loop. So when you pull the loop of thread, then it will release the card as well. It's very easy to perform and uh, you just need minimal contact with it and it will flick a card out uh, in a really nice fashion in, in great rotation spins. Um, yeah, it's, it's very theatrical. Reset time is literally this. You pull this down, you push that across and it is reset. So you can see that took me a couple of seconds and then also you need to put a card back in as well. So it's a one-time use gimmick or prop. It's not really a gimmick um, and yeah, that's, that's how quickly the, the thing resets, basically. Angles don't really apply to this. Uh, this will be hidden somewhere. It will be in a bag, in a box, um, somewhere out of sight. So, uh, you know, use your common sense. There are no angle restrictions to this. A card's going to fly out from somewhere. And uh, all, all you need to be conscious of in terms of angles is whether you have a, a piece, like I cut out a piece of this so that I could trigger it for the intro. So you, the, only, the only possible angles that you need to be aware of is if you have an exposed trigger, uh, one of the three trigger switches for the device. Pocket space is unfortunate. So the reason why I bought this is because I wanted to have it in my top pocket when I'm working and I wanted to have a card fly out. Unfortunately, it doesn't work like that. So it doesn't work in a vertical format. It only works in a horizontal format like this. So it has to be parallel to the floor. 
Um, of course, you, you, can, you can have it like this in a bag or something like that, and you can have a card shoot out sideways. But, uh, you know, the, the, the whole point of the, the selling point of this trick is that a card shoots up in the air and then you catch the card or, you know, whatever your presentation is. Um, so, yeah, in terms of pocket space, like this can't really fit in a pocket. So pocket space isn't really relevant. What you're looking at is um, one second. What you're looking at is roughly 12 centimeters by eight centimeters. So they are the rough dimensions for the device. Um, not easily pocketable. Also probably wouldn't launch a card out of your pocket either. So pocket space, as I say, not really relevant, but you have the dimensions now is very thin, uh, which we'll come to in the final thoughts. Uh, and that's uh, pocket space, basically. Uh, you just need to find a place on your stage or in your bag to pop this in and then have the have the trigger somewhat accessible. My final thoughts on this are mixed. For what it is, it's very expensive. Anyone who has a little bit of know-how in, in arts and crafts could definitely make their own version of this. It, it, would, it might not look as nice, but you could definitely make a makeshift version for five or 10 pounds. Um, also, this is, uh, this is like a, a plastic. It's, if you sit on this, it will break. Uh, so this is, not, this is not a sturdy device. You could easily break it, or if you're using it in a stage act and you have it in a box, and then, you know, un unfortunately you put another box on top of it, it will snap it. So it's not the most rugged thing. Also, uh, I think that anyone with a, with a 3D printer could print something like this very easily as well. Uh, another, another point that, that I don't like is that you may have heard it, uh, I'm sure you would have heard it in the intro, there's quite a big noise when this, when this mechanism hits like that. It's quite loud. Uh, so in, in the situations that I wanted to use it for, uh, which is parlor um, and smaller, more intimate performances, I'm not sure I'd be able to get away with it because everyone's gonna know there's some sort of con contraption there that's gone clink. Uh, also, the, the, in the instructions, it says use the small rubber bands that are provided for a, a higher uh, trajectory of the card and use bigger rubber bands for a lower trajectory. I only received one size of band uh, in my package. I didn't, re I didn't receive any different sizes. So th there's literally, they're all the same size of band. Uh, so I, I don't know if that's a mistake. I don't know if I'm just supposed to provide other bands, but when it says in the instructions that you can use the smaller bands for more tension to shoot the card higher and use larger bands to have less tension and shoot it lower, for 65 pounds, I expect them to include a few, a few of the larger bands. Uh, so I, I don't think that's a mistake, but it's not a good thing when a product, a simple product costs so much money. Uh, so as you can see, like there, there are some glaring holes in this product, but not because it's a bad product. It does what it promises to do. Some of the issues with this are, are with cost. Uh, so if this, if this was, you know, 25 pounds, I think that would be much more reasonable. 65 pounds for this is ridiculous. Uh, it, like I have no idea why it costs this much. This does not cost 30 pounds to, to produce each one. Uh, so I, I don't understand where the 65 pound price mark has, has, has come out. And I don't think it's warranted either. So if you are looking to buy card launch, I've explained to you the uh, restrictions and uh, shown you basically like the situations that it's most suited to. And now my last recommendation would be to you is uh, if you do want this and you have a use for it, of course, and you have 65 pounds spare, of course, buy it. But if you don't have the money or you think it's expensive, just buy it secondhand or, or just buy it when it's on sale because it's an insanely high price tag for something that shouldn't cost that much money, that also doesn't have things included that are mentioned in the instructions. Uh, that's it. Overall, it's, it's uh, a good product and it does what it promises to do. The instructions are, are very minimal and don't give you enough information, in my opinion. 
Uh, if you are interested, this is a size uh, 15 rubber band, I think, which uh, makes the card launch about, uh, I would say, four or five feet. And these smaller, tiny rubber bands that come with it make it shoot like 10 feet in the air. It, 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 does shoot, it does shoot the cards really well. You can also shoot multiple cards. So I've tested it and the, the maximum thickness that I think you could, you could get in here with, it still, with the mechanism still being able to work is three playing cards. That's three uh, USPCC bicycle regulation playing cards. You definitely couldn't get a credit card in here, is what I'm saying. Nothing as thick as that. But, you know, you could launch two or three cards. Um, two would definitely go. Three might squeeze and it might cause a bit of friction on the card, so they might not pop out properly. You'll have to play around with that. I think that's my final point. Uh, I like the product. It's just way too expensive for what it is. That's the review for today. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found it informative. If this video was helpful, hit the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.